Θέλω να ακούσουμε τον κύριο Λιγόπουλο. Ε, θέλω να ακούσουμε ότι σήμερα στην Ελλάδα, όταν πάμε σε ένα κατάστημα και λέμε αυτό το στυλό το έχετε, το πατάει πολύ κρύα, όχι δεν το έχω, αλλά μισό λεπτό που μπαίνει στο κομπιούτερ και λέει το έχει το κατάστημα μας στην Κυβισιά. Να πάτε στην Κυβισιά. Αυτό το πράγμα που κάνει ένα μικρό κατάστημα ιαλικής στην Αθήνα, δεν μπορεί να το κάνει σήμερα το ελληνικό δημόσιο. Το ελληνικό δημόσιο σήμερα δεν έχει ένα ψηφιακό οργανόγραμμα. Ακόμα δεν ξέρουμε ποιο εργάζεται, πού εργάζεται, πόσα παίρνει, γιατί τα παίρνει και με ποιον τρόπο θα μπορούσε να λυθεί αυτό το πρόβλημα. Μήνω τρία λεπτά στον κύριο Ρογόπουλο. Πάνω σε αυτό, πάνω σε αυτό για το ψηφιακό οργανόγραμμα, έτσι να πω ότι ε, ετοιμάζεται, ετοιμάζεται και στο επόμενο τρίμηνο, τρίμηνο όποιο οργανισμό του δημοσίου δεν κάνει το ψηφιακό οργανόγραμμα, δεν, δεν θα επιχορηγείται. Έτσι θα είναι deadline. Θα είναι deadline. Να το πω στον κύριο Ρογόπουλο και θέλω να πάρει σε σπίτι. Uh, I'm trying to speak in English because the last years many who are involved in regional governance do not speak Greek. So, digital organogram, an instrument and a platform for the administrative reform. Reforms are a major issue in this forum and they are also in this session. Uh, to reform, it's going from state A to state B, but B should be a better state. Seven years of reforms of our states, Stokratos, Mass. Seven years of reforms are plenty to do marvels. If the administrative reform is done right, then it's the best investment for our country. In addition to all other gains, it may even create a source of state income for consulting to other countries. No masterpiece can be built without solid foundation, at least not in the real world. A reform has three steps, setting the targets, mapping the present, and designing the future. Our future mission is that we do not map the present. Okay, and this undermines and impedes our design of the future. Key state officials have stated the problem to be solved. In brief, we don't know all our units and we don't know all our people, yet we pay for that. There is a concrete solution for the missing base of the Parthenon. It's the digital map of all the units and all the people. Every computer science freshman knows how to do it. The two column table on the right fully represents the tree structure on the left. You locate the parent node by searching the first column. You locate the children by searching the second column. Just two such tables are needed for all the Greek states, one for the units and one for the people. And we shall know where exactly every unit and every person is. This solution can be implemented immediately with just one straightforward law. It is easy, it is fast, and it is costless. This is why it's a touchstone that shows who truly wants to do the job. And times matters. The provisions of this single law, no payments of people or units outside the map, no unregistered changes in structures or in positions. Last November, the Open Technologies Alliance suggested that there is an amendment to the mobility law. That amendment was not accepted. Maybe it's for the better. It can become a new clean law without preconditions or prerequisites. The digital mapping or the digital organogram is a daily history record with minimal data and with maximal accuracy. It must contain all units and all people paid, subsidized, maintained or guaranteed by the state. It has just ID codes and it must be complete. Oops. Code numbers have existed for years. Car license plates, people like this, etc. Today we apply codes everywhere to trace in real time flights, bus stops, policy, public procurements, etc. Only our public administration does not know how to locate a few thousand people and units. It is our duty as citizens and our interest as taxpayers to make sure our Kratos functions well. We must care about our Kratos. It's our common home, it's our common business. All of us should heed the oracle prediction of Sozon Ayrton Sotito, who wants to be saved, has to work for this. And also the deathric maxim, know this afton, know thyself. But If we finally decide to save ourselves, our fellow Europeans must also, must also help us protect our brand. The acronym GRECO must change. It, is, it connects Greece with corruption in the global subconscious. GRECO does not correspond to this initiative's names in any language. It's Group of States Against Corruption and Group d'État contre la Corruption. In addition, the logo has the Greek colors. I consider this to be an insult to Greece and to Dominikos Theodokopoulos. I close with a big why. 
why is it this simple mapping not being done? It only helps, it costs nothing, and it does not delay any other task. If there exists some reasonable explanation, I'd like to hear it. If not, there is enough power in this forum to demand it and to make it happen. Thank you. Ευχαριστώ τον κύριο Ριόπλο, ο οποίος είναι θεωρητής δημόσιας διοίκησης, να σας πω έτσι, απλώς παλεύει ο άνθρωπος για ένα ψηφιακό οργανόγραμμα. Πότε θα το έχουμε λέτε? Δεν ξέρω και πώς το χρονοδιάγραμμα, αλλά η δημόσιας ομιλία του Βασίλη ετοιμάζεται, θα είναι κατευθυμένο υποχρεωτικά από όλες τις φορές, νομίζω σε πολύ σύντομο χρονικό διάστημα. Όποιος δεν είναι στο ψηφιακό οργανόγραμμα δεν παίρνει λεφτά. Θα το πω δηλαδή δίνει, δίνει που δεν θα κάνω το ψηφιακό οργανόγραμμα, θα το πει η δηματοδότησή τους. Θα πληρώνεται υπάλληλος, θα πληρώνεται η κυβέρνηση. Τη κυβέρνηση. Μα όλα, όλα τα θέλω. Θέλω ένα παράδειγμα με τους Δήμους και τα λοιπά που υπάρχει και με τη μεγάλη αντίδραση.